guys back a couple more updates on the 98 GT uh, we've got a, a uh, basically we're going from a 98 to 04 uh, style motor and what's gonna have to happen here is that these coils are gonna have to be mounted onto the new motor because this is a four coil pack person uh, basically a coil pack uh, four coil four coils run uh, how can I say this it's basically uh, kind of like a distributor almost uh, to the uh, one coil per cylinder uh, technology but not quite there yet but anyways uh, the newer style has a coil pack that sits right on top of the plug and you do not need wires this particular system has wires and two coil packs so what we're going to do uh, we can't run the new style system unless we change out uh, the en complete engine harness, uh, the complete uh, dash wiring harness, and the computer, um, and then have a key reprogrammed to that new computer. And it's just it's it's a costly procedure, and uh, my man here doesn't have uh, the time uh, to be off of work, and you know being without a car, and and doesn't have the uh, you know being around Christmas time. It's just it's just not working out for him to me for me to change all that. But it is doable. You can do it. Uh, so what we're going to do on this motor is we're going to take these and swap them, put them on the other motor. And I'm not sure at this point I might actually have to take the whole timing uh, cover uh, off and use that uh, depending on if I have mounting points for these uh, these brackets here uh, on the new motor. Um, and he uh, had mentioned to me that uh, he was driving the car for a while with the with the motor blown, not this severely, but he was, you know, started off as a small noise and it was ticking and then, uh, you know, now it uh, became a full on issue. But uh, he told me that he, you know, uh, had a problem where uh, he had to put uh, coolant in it and he decided to substitute it for water. Well, guys, don't ever substitute your coolant for water. Uh, he said the reason being is because he figured the motor was going bad either way and, um, he just figured it wasn't it wasn't uh, a good idea to just keep wasting money on coolant. Uh, but here, this is Mike here. This is my son. He knows why you shouldn't run water in your cooling system. And why is that, Mike? You don't run water in your cooling system because if you run water, it doesn't just go through your block. It goes through your whole cooling system, the heads, heater core. It cools it down your intake and radiator. And it's just it just it just messes it, it just rusts everything out and make, makes everything nasty, right? So okay, so your your motor is blown. I, I understand that you, you don't want to spend money on coolant. Just don't don't drive the car then. But I mean, I mean, if you absolutely have to, just go ahead and spend the money on that on that fifteen dollar jug of coolant. And I'll tell you why, because you're, now you're you have an issue with your radiator. Your radiator basically is going to look, you know, rust. It's going to show rust. Um, you've got rusty, nasty coolant. This this radiator is already starting to seep right around the tanks here, and that radiator is pretty much done. It's gone. Um, also. Uh, you know, it you've got rust all inside your. You could see that. That's just nasty. That, that's not good for your engine. Another thing that's very very important is you see these two lines back here that go into your firewall. That goes into your heater core. The heater core on this car is probably about a five to six hour job, and you got to know exactly what you're doing because the whole and the whole dash has to come out, and it's not an easy job. So if you run water and destroy this heater core and your heater core starts leaking uh, nine times out of ten you're gonna just not have a heater because what I see boys doing is in instead of replacing the heater core they'll just bypass the the uh, water and and uh, connect those two lines together and, and not not deal with the heater core because it's that expensive to replace um, buddy of mine had it replaced at the dealer and his bill came out to nine hundred dollars so again another thing one more one more time not to run water in your cooling system. Very bad. Alright, next time guys.